Right, video number two. <laughs> Let's do this again. Hey, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, welcome. I'm so happy to have you. If you've been here before, yes, this is a very familiar shirt in a very familiar setting. I just filmed my what's in my school backpack video and I'm filming the next part of it, what's in my studio bag. If you didn't see my previous video or my video from two videos ago, go ahead and watch it. I explain everything that I'm doing, but I went over my school bag and what I take to school every single day. But today, oh, I'm going over what's in my studio bag. But quick run over, I'm a SCAD student, I'm a painter, I take studio classes, uh, and I'm gonna be talking about what's in my studio bag. So I have two bags that I leave in the studio, but we'll go over the other bag first. This one's the easiest. So this is another uh, reusable bag. I got this one for free. So I went to Pride this year in Atlanta, and there's this company, MailChimp, based out of Atlanta, that works with different artists. And this year they worked with Adam J. Kurtz, who is a very well-known illustrator based out of New York. And he designed floats and stickers and pins, I think, and these tote bags for him that say, they're his like iconic little rainbow that say us on one side and y'all on the other. And I love his work. So I was really happy when my girlfriend sort of like accosted some random lady that works at MailChimp at the line for the bathroom at Trader Joe's after the parade and uh, managed to get her to give this bag to us. In this bag, I have one thing, and it's another plastic bag. In this plastic bag, is, well, there's a ruler in it, but in this plastic bag is a giant tub of artist-grade gesso. And it is in a plastic bag and a reusable bag because at first I just had it in the yellow Pride Mailchimp Adam J. Kurtz bag, and I had it in the trunk of the car. It like tipped over and the gesso spilled all over the bag. Luckily it didn't get anywhere in the car, but it spilled all over the bag. I lost a lot of gesso, I had to wash it out. Luckily it did wash out, but I learned my lesson. It goes in a plastic bag and then it goes in this bag. I actually think I have a tall little tub of gesso in my red Target bag, but it's student grade and there wasn't a whole lot of it left and I had a lot of stuff to prime, so um, I, I had to buy another tub. So, into my Target bag that I have labeled Allie's Paint. If you watched my first vlog from the senior year, I had to carry this around with me every single day, and it was a total pain. This sits in the storage room in one of the studio spaces. We're gonna go over everything that's inside of here, and there's quite a bit, so I hope it's exciting for you. First thing at the very top is this paint towel. I don't know what's going on over there. I'm gonna talk over it. I've just had this towel that I've used for the last like year and a half now. I can't remember what I was using before. I think I was just using an old t-shirt. Um, but I got this random, it's like a Nike towel that Jordan got from some convention she went to for free. So I used this. Another thing that I have in here, I have 70% isopropyl alcohol. For my final for abstraction, I have a little clip that's in my finals vlog. I was doing a lot of photo transfers, or I was trying to do a lot of photo transfers, and so I found that like a giant tub of alcohol, I keep calling it tub, a giant bottle of alcohol um, was the most efficient way to transfer a lot of photos. The next thing I have is this little tub of soft gel golden soft body clear drying acrylic medium. I use this to collage things, to build up a little bit of texture on some of my pieces. I'm almost done with this. I want to try the other kinds of medium because there's there's some that are like harder and more um, sculptable, sculptable, sculptural. I don't know, but it's kind of expensive. <laughs> I have a couple different cups that I use. I'm gonna pull those all out right now. I have this glass jar with like a with a handle that I use for my brushes. It's big. It's uh, it's got a handle, so it's easy to carry, and it, it stores all my brushes. A little tiny jar 
that I started to use for uh, pouring. So I would mix up some paint, some pouring medium, and a little bit of water because I didn't mind the separation. I actually like the separation of the pigment and the paint. And I would just mix it up in here and then pour it onto the canvas. There's some footage of that in my finals vlog too. So that's what this little jar is for. This cup that I got, it's a plastic cup, but I got it for, I got it for free for uh, my freshman year from some random event that I went to. I use this as like a gesso cup, so none of my gesso ends up mixing with any sort of paint pigment, so I'll just fill this up with water and whenever I'm priming canvas, this is, this is the cup that I use for the gesso brush. So I have another reusable bag here that Jordan got from her work for some sort of training thing that she did. So I also got it for free. But it's the perfect size for storing all of my paint. For the most part, I would store these big, bigger tubes of Amsterdam paint at the bottom. And then I have my smaller tubes of golden paint at the top. I also have some bottles of acrylic medium. Other things I have in here, I have this tub of gesso that I was talking about. There's about maybe this much left, which is why I needed to buy a new one to gesso all of those canvases and panels. I have another empty bottle of medium. I have paper towels. These, I also have a couple of these in my gesso bags. I'll get paper towels from the studio when I wash my hands, but sometimes I use the clear gel medium to adhere them to the paintings, but also just when I pour to soak up any pigment or to wipe anything. They're super reusable because it's just paint. It's not like they're like covered in dirt or anything. So I, I tend to reuse all of the paper towels that I have. I have a little bottle of Mod Podge because you never know when you're gonna wanna get crafty. I have a giant paintbrush that I use uh, I don't work big enough to really use this for paint. Sometimes I'll use it to like blend a large area of color really quickly, but this is my gesso brush pretty much. I have a box cutter. I have a AD marker, blender marker. This is what I was using before I got the bottle of alcohol to blend or to transfer photos. These dry out really quickly, so just getting a bottle of alcohol is a lot more effective. I have some sandpaper. I have some artist tape. I have one of the old issues of the Messy Head mags. Um, I use these to just like clip out pictures and text and stuff to collage with. I uh, have a little baggie of scraps to collage with that I cut out but I haven't used yet. I have a pad of graph paper just used for collaging for some um, extra texture, surface texture and transparency to add to collages. But yeah, that's that's everything. This is gonna be a pain to put back together. There's like a whole system of putting the bag together. But that is everything that is in my studio bag. And those are pretty much all of my supplies that I use at the moment for school. So sometimes I'll use different art supplies. I've gotten into a lot of mixed media in my art using color pencil, using pen, using ink, using paint, using gouache, using oil, using acrylic. Um, and I want to explore that more, but that is everything that I've been using recently. I hope you enjoyed this video. Um, if you did, you know, you could like, you could subscribe, keep up with the rest of my content. If you have any, like, favorite art materials or any sort of mixed media processes that you enjoy using, you can comment them down below. I love learning from other artists, so if you have any tips and tricks or anything that you just love, uh, comment them down below. I'd love to hear them. Thank you so much for watching and I hope to see you again soon. Bye!